In this video, we are going to learn about Git version control system. So if you are a beginner and want to learn Git, so this video is for you. We'll discuss about Git version control system and then we'll see basic Git commands that will help you in daily project works. My name is Chandan Giri and you're watching Educate India. So let's jump in and get started. What is Git? Git is a free and open source distributed version control system designed to handle everything from small to very large projects with speed and efficiency. What is version control? Version control is a system that records changes to a file or set of files over time and stores in special database called repository so that you can recall specific versions later. In the diagram we can see we have repository and in the left side we have changes or commit. So we are storing all the changes or commits in the repository. And later on we can track those commits or changes. We can see who has modified the code. We can see author details, modification date and everything. So this provides a better tracking on code and we can work together in a team. Now without version control system, how we can maintain different versions of code? So if we don't have any version control system, then we need to copy the code again and again with different version number. And let's say there are many developers in the team, so they will also perform the same activity again and again. And if they want to merge the code, so they have to do it manually. And then it's very painful and difficult task to merge the code. So that's why we should always use version control system and Git is the most popular version control system. Now, what are the types of version control system? So version control are mainly of two types, centralized and distributed. In case of centralized, we have a central server and all the developers are going to access the same server. So they have dependency on a single server for doing check-ins and for getting the latest code. So let's say because of some reason, if that server fails, so that will affect their work because they have dependency on single server. But in case of distributed, all the developers will have local copy with themselves. So they can create their own branches and they can take the local copy from the repository. So they can easily merge their own code to other branches. And when the work is finished, so they can merge the code to main repository. So that's why distributed system are very popular. And Git and Mercurial are example of distributed version control. And Subversion and TFS are example of centralized. Now, why Git? We are going to use Git because Git is free, open source, fast, scalable, and branching and merging are very easy in Git. How we can install Git? So if you want to install Git, you can visit the Git official website, gitscm.com and you can select the operating system and you just need to download the executables. Once you have downloaded it, then you can easily install the Git. After installation, you can verify by writing Git in your command prompt or terminal. It will show all Git related commands. That means Git is installed. Then these are the basic commands that will help you in daily project works. And we are going to see all the commands one by one. So we'll open the Visual Studio code. We'll open the terminal. And first we are going to clone the code from Azure DevOps. So to clone the code, we need to get the URL. So here you can get the URL. So just copy it. Then we'll go to Visual Studio code terminal and we'll write git command git space clone space URL. Also make sure you should be at correct path. So now I'll go and simply hit enter. So this will clone all the code at my repo location. I can see the code here. Now I want to create a new branch. So I'll simply write git checkout minus b new branch name. So let's say the new branch is feature slash testing. But it, it is telling it's not a git repository. So we need to go inside the folder. Now we can run that git checkout command. So it has created a new branch. Now we'll open the code. We'll modify some code in startup file. And we'll try to commit that code in Azure DevOps. So let's add some comment. Now we can run git status to see the changes and we can see it is showing we have modified one file startup.cs 
So now we cannot directly commit the code. We first need to move this code to stage. So ch change is not staged for commit. So we need to stage it first. To stage your changes, we need to run git add command. Git add space. Either we can run uh, write dot if you want to stage all the files. So here we have only single file. We can define a pattern like star dot cs that will stage all the c class files or we can directly write the file name so now we can see the status it has turned to green it means we have staged it now changes to be committed so we have already staged our changes now we need to commit it so to commit your change we need to run git commit command git commit space minus m and then we can write a commit message like testing feature branch we'll hit enter it is telling one file changed one insertion so we have committed our file now we need to push the code to feature branch to push the code we need to run git push but we need to set upstream because we have just created this branch and it's still in our local so it is suggesting one command that we need to run so we have we just ran this command and we found it has pushed the code to feature branch now we'll go to azure devops and we'll verify this so if you click commits i can see now we have one more feature branch and we have pushed our code to azure devops testing feature branch just now so now we have created one more branch feature branch so now we have two branches master and feature so we want to merge this feature branch to master so that we can trigger our deployment from master so master branch is a main branch and feature any developer can work in any feature and later on they can they need to merge it to merge back to master and to merge the code we need to create pull request so we'll hit on new pull request and here we can add the title description we can add the reviewer names so later on they can review the code and we can attach the work item so in work item we can create work item in azure boards and then we can attach that work item here so later on this commit will be attached to that work item and that will provide a better tracking we can add the some tags also so let's create the pull request there is no any merge conflict now here we have option to approve pull request or we can reject it or we can provide some suggestions so we have some additional option options here we are going to approve this pull request then again we have option to merge it so we'll hit on complete while merging it is telling like do we want to delete the feature branch if you don't want to delete it we can uncheck it but right now i just want to delete it after merging but master branch will still exist because that is our main branch and we are going to trigger the deployment from master only we are just deleting the feature branch that we created so let's hit on complete merge so now it has merged the code so we'll click on commits and we'll see we have merged the pull request so we can see in the master branch we have this commit and we are into master branch if you want to see the changes we can directly go and we can see the changes in the master branch so we have created a successfully local branch we have pushed the code to azure devops we have created a pull request to merge that feature branch to master branch so this is a complete flow how you're going to work with git commands now let's open the paint and understand this process so first we have the master branch in the azure devops and from master branch we created a new feature branch then we modify the code in visual studio
and let's say we have done some modifications in the code and after that we added that we staged that files so we used git add and then we committed those changes so we used git commit after commit we are pushing the code back to feature branch using git push okay and this we already used we created the new branch using git checkout so we have we have just copied the code from master branch to feature branch if you want to get the code from master into local so we can use git clone so once we push the code to feature branch then we created a new pull request to merge the code back into master and this process we are following again and again so let's say if you are a developer so you are going to follow this process again you can create multiple times the branches and you can again merge it to the main branch master branch so that's how we can work we ran git add command to move into a staged so how that is happening so initially the files will not be staged so let's say we have modified startup so initially it is showing in red because it's not staged so we need to move it to stage so how we can move it we can simply run git add and we can move this code to stage so we are running git add command to move the file the changes to staged git add space dot or any file name we can run so then we are moving this file to stage if you open the command prompt so here you can see initially it was red and then we it turned into green and after that we ran git commit command here we are running git commit to commit the code so this is the complete branching strategy we can follow so if you are a developer let's say there are three developers in a team so they can create their own feature branch they can modify the code means they will have their local copy and then they are going to run the git add to move the changes into staged and once they have moved to staged then they need, they need to run git commit to commit those changes and after that they need to run git push command to push back push those commits to feature branch and once they have pushed to feature branch then it will be available on azure devops in azure devops you can see those changes those commits in feature branch then there we need to create a pull request to merge the source feature branch into main master branch and from here from master we can deploy the code our changes to any environment so here we can trigger the deployment or we'll have some pipeline that will trigger the deployment from the main master branch so we'll have all the changes in the main master branch so that's how git works i hope this video gave you better understanding to understand the git i hope you learned about git how git works and uh, how git commands works and how we can use these git commands in our daily project works i'll be creating more videos related to git azure devops and we'll try to create some videos on interview questions as well so till then take care bye bye and thanks for watching